Hey everybody, it's your girl Coco Kitten Bruja here and I am back with another deck review. Now, if you guys have seen some of my older deck reviews, you'll know and recognize this Mystic Mondays emblem. Um, this is the second deck that goes with that particular deck and this is the Crystal Grid deck um, by Grace Duong. This is 80 different crystals. This deck is phenomenal. I actually just got this particular deck and I have been obsessed with it. I used it in a Facebook group going live and this deck snatches edges just like the Mystic Monday Tarot. And I love it. I'm learning about crystals that you know, I, I try to pride myself on knowing about different crystals and some of these crystals I had never heard of before and they're gorgeous. So now it's forcing me to do more research and and take my skill set even further. So I'm already in love with this deck just because of how expansive it is. Um, but I also love the messages that go with the cards. So let's go ahead and dive on in. Now we have very sizable box here, right? But when we open it, there is no guidebook. However, and that's only because the cards themselves have the explanation on them. You see how small this box is? I'm like, girl, why do we have this big old box when the cards fit in this itty bitty little space? But y'all know me, that's just, the questions I have when it comes to packaging don't mind me at all. But you get this pamphlet that breaks each card down into chakras, which I feel is phenomenal. Um, and it's almost as if each row kind of bleeds into the next chakra, which I think is really cool. Um, so you have all 80 crystals right here. And even still, when we break down the chakras, we have the crown, meaning I understand. The third eye, meaning I see. The throat, meaning I speak. The heart, I love. Solar plexus, I do. Sacral, I feel. And root, I am. So I'm already in love with this deck when I pulled this out and I opened it up. Then when you flip it, this is the guidebook, right? So it tells you how to use the cards. It gives you the crystal of the day, the supplemental tarot plus oracle. Like if you have the Mystic Monday tarot, this is how you can use them in tandem. We have the cheat sheet for the three card spread. It breaks down to a weekly, a monthly, crystals on the go. All of this right here for you. I mean, it's a bit much to be on this big, you know, cheat, but that's okay. This is a very subjective thing. To me, I probably won't use this. I'll more so use this. But for some people, this is perfect for them. This is exactly what they need. Um, it even has something for new moon and full moons, right? So I think this is really dope. Um, this deck retails for 26 bucks. I got it on Amazon, so which means I probably spent only like 20 maybe less. Um which obviously will be in the description below. Uh, but let's get into the cards. Come on now. There we go. So from here, we have the flip top box. And you'll see that the cards are actually in the shape of a hexagon. So we have the matte finish, but the crystal itself has a gloss finish to it. And then on the back, we have the full explanation. We have what the crystal is. We have key, key words that go to it. And then it also gives you a zodiac sign and a planet. I adore these cards. Obviously they are small. They literally fit in the palm of my hand. So if you have smaller hands, this deck is definitely ideal. Now, you can't really bridge shuffle with these. The only way you can really get a good shuffle is with the side shuffle, right? And I've been using these cards, so they're no longer in color order or anything like that. But I 
you can get a really good shuffle out of them. So, we have Onyx and Amethyst Phantom Quartz. So, I, Onyx, obviously, excuse me, Onyx is about protection. That's what we know as a base um, for Onyx because of its color. But it's also about autonomy, self-discipline, and command. And then Amethyst Phantom Quartz, which takes it a step further because we're not just dealing with the Amethyst. There's a combination of Phantom Quartz that goes along with it, which kind of separates it from regular Amethyst. And this is about expression, gifts, and originality. And then it goes into the um, explanation, which the way she explains these crystals and how they work, I just feel like is like dynamic. She has, she definitely has a way with words when it comes to these crystals. And I love that. Um, I'm not going to go into all 80 cards, but just to take a look at the brilliance, excuse me, of the crystals. I want to see what this one is. Rose Aura Quartz. That is gorgeous. And then, of course, that's Rose Quartz. But these cards are beautiful. They are simple. Well, I'll say they're simplistic and minimalist, but the detail that she gives when it comes in comes to the explanation is phenomenal. I love these cards. And you guys know I have a love-hate relationship with the tarot deck just because of how harsh I feel like the messages are. I don't feel that at all when it comes to the crystal grid deck. And of course, having harsh messages, some people prefer that. Me, I don't really like super duper in your face, hardcore tarot decks. Um, and that could just be my energy and the deck's energy. Not to say you will have the same experience as me, but you can listen to that on the other deck review. These particular cards, I absolutely love. I love everything about these cards, how gorgeous they look how they how, what she what she, how she breaks down what they represent everything even going all the way down to adding the zodiac and the and the planets like it's those small little touches that make the difference when you have such an elaborate deck like oh my god look at that this is a new deck for me so i really haven't looked at every single card um but that's gorgeous what is this cat's eye oh see now i gotta go find this stone i gotta go find this stone this week y'all cat's eye i need that in my life agility intuition and protection yes ma'am these are just gorgeous gorgeous cards um and i mean for the price 80 cards like you can't beat that at all but you guys, let me know how you feel about this deck in the comments. Is this a, is this a deck that you feel like you could use? Um, for my crystal lovers, do you feel like this is something that you can add to your arsenal to learn more? I'm going to tell you right now, some of these crystals I am about to look up, especially like this cat's eye. Definitely going to look up cat's eye and see how I can incorporate it into my everyday life. Some of these crystals are just really good to have. Ethiopian opal. Wow. Now I will fully admit that some of these crystals I, I can't pronounce because I've never heard them out loud. And I, <laughs> whew, some of these be getting me, y'all. Blue spinel. Hmm. Good old malachite. Definitely let me know how you guys feel about these cards. Love Kyanite. Snakeskin Agate. Strength, privacy, and self-love. Ooh. All right. Pyrite. Also, let me know what your favorite crystal is. I have so many, but I'd love to hear what you guys have for your your favorite crystal. Rainbow Aura Quartz, another favorite of mine. Moonstone, another favorite. 
Moonstone has so many different variations to it, but the the Rainbow Moonstone is my favorite. All right. And the last one is Wavalite? Wavalite? Hmm. I've never heard of that crystal before. But it is about decisions, flow, and the bigger picture. All right. You guys let me know how you feel about these in the comments. These are probably going to be my favorite crystal deck. Still waiting to get a crystal tarot. We'll see what happens in the near future with that. But you guys let me know how you feel about these cards. And uh, we can go from there. Don't be afraid to hit me up across all social media at Coco Kitten Bruja for your personal readings. Book over at CocoKittenBruja.com. Hit that like, subscribe, and share. And I am sending you guys tons and tons of love and light. Until next time, peace.